Although some of the more familiar names from the past couple of seasons have graduated, there should be no shortage of talent in PSAC women's basketball this coming season. Despite the top three scorers in the league having graduated, nine of the 12 players named to the all-conference teams last year return in 2011-12, while the preseason favorites in each division return a combined nine of ten starters. Let's now take a look at the preseason polls, starting with the PSAC East. Last year, Cheney had an entirely new team from the one that took the floor in 2009-10, but this season the Wolves will have several experienced players taking the floor, led by All-PSAC East second team selection Nadira Brown. Mansfield looks to have one of its most experienced teams of recent years as 2010-11 second team All-PSAC East selection Mallory Moore leads the way for the Mounties. East Stroudsburg has also been inexperienced over the last few seasons, but second-year head coach Maureen Smith returns all five starters this year as the Warriors look to climb up the PSAC East standings. Shippensburg lost Casey Gardner, the second-leading scorer in the PSAC last season, but with three starters returning, the Lady Raiders figure to once again be in the hunt for a PSAC postseason berth. Kutztown also sustained a big loss in Melissa McQuaid, the program's all-time leading scorer, but junior Ashley Wood returns to lead the Golden Bears after emerging as a legitimate scoring threat last season and finishing second on the team in scoring. Perennial PSAC tournament contender Westchester should be a strong contender once again in 2011-12, as the all-conference duo of senior Allison Hostetter and junior Alex Lennon return to lead the Golden Rams. Millersville, which has appeared in the PSAC Tournament semifinals in nine out of the last ten seasons, should be in the mix to do so once again this season. Leading the way are a pair of all PSAC players from last year in forward Ariel Mosley, whose 12.6 rebounds per game were tops in the league, and guard Mashira Newman. Bloomsburg, last year's PSAC East champion and top scoring team, is favored to repeat this year as the Huskies return 9 of 10 letter winners from last year's championship squad, including PSAC East Athlete of the Year Kelsey Gallagher. Former PSAC East Freshman of the Year Dana Wheeler was also a first team all conference pick last year and is the top returning scorer in the PSAC. Now moving over to the PSAC West where Clarion returns all five starters from last year's squad, which includes a group of four sophomores that started a combined 94 games as freshmen last season. Just down Interstate 80 at Slippery Rock, second-year head coach Tanya Longo returns four starters, including leading scorer Danielle Smith. Mercyhurst has a core group of experienced veterans with four seniors and six juniors leading the way, but they will be without Amy Atchazinski, who will slide into an assistant coach's role this year after finishing third in the PSAC in scoring a year ago. Seeking its first PSAC playoff appearance since 1991, Lockhaven appears to be in the mix for a playoff spot as the Lady Eagles should have one of their most experienced teams in recent years, with four starters returning. After setting a Division II record for most wins in a season two years ago, Gannon missed the PSAC tournament for the first time as a league member last season, but with four starters returning, the Golden Knights will aim to return to the postseason. IUP has just one starter returning from last year, but the Crimson Hawks are favored to be in the PSAC tournament once again, as that one starter is junior Sarah Pastorek a second-team all-conference choice last year and a former PSAC West Freshman of the Year. California lost the second-leading rebounder in PSAC history in Kayla Smith, who was also a 2,000-point scorer in her outstanding career. But the Vulcans will welcome back a pair of double-digit scorers in all PSAC West first-team pick Amy Johns, as well as Danielle Luckett as Cal looks to get back to the PSAC Tournament Championship game for the 12th straight season. Defense wins championships, and that was the case for Edinburgh last season, as the Fighting Scots claimed their first PSAC title in 21 years on the strength of allowing the second-fewest points in the league. The Fighting Scots are favored to repeat in the West this season as 12 of 14 letter winners return from last year's championship squad, including five all-conference players that each averaged at least nine points per contest. 
Recapping the preseason polls, defending Eastern Division champion Bloomsburg is favored to repeat in the PSAC East, receiving five first place votes while Millersville and Westchester also garnered first place votes. Kutztown and Shippensburg start the season in the same place they finished last year in fourth and fifth place, while East Stroudsburg, Mansfield, and Cheney round out the poll. In the PSAC West, defending champion Edinburgh is the unanimous favorite to repeat, while California, IUP, and Gannon, who have been responsible for the previous five PSAC titles before Edinburgh's last year, sit in second through fourth, with Lockhaven, Mercyhurst, Slippery Rock, and Clarion following them. Checking out the preseason all-conference teams, the top three teams in the East preseason poll each have two players on the East squad. Five of the six individuals were postseason all-conference selections last year for the first time in their careers, while Bloomsburg's Kelsey Gallagher is a three-time postseason all-conference pick. Half of the members of the West team are from Edinburgh, and five of the six individuals were postseason all-conference selections last year. Slippery Rock's Danielle Smith will be looking for her first career All-PSAC honor after the season. 